this video right now chances are that your vpn stopped working today i'm gonna show you detailed steps to bypass these blocks and then you can stay secure online okay all right so i'm gonna take you through seven methods to apply so you can be able to use your vpn all right so without further ado let's get right into it so you can use obfuscated service some vpns like nordvpn chefshack or express vpn they offer obfuscated servers that disguise vpn traffic okay so as you know obfuscated servers are designed to mask your vpn traffic to make it appear like regular internet traffic so this helps bypass vpn's blocks that is imposed by isps or authorities okay first you enable the settings it depends on the vpn provider that you are using but for generally you will have to open your vpn app then you can go to settings or advanced options then you can locate obfuscated service or stealth mode then you just enable it okay but then i'm using chefshack vpn so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to open chefshack then i'll click on settings then i'm going to select the first one vpn settings then i'm going to scroll all the way to protocol then click on it all right so with chefshack vpn uh the stilt mode or obfuscated service property is found within the open vpn protocol so by default it is automatic here so i'm just going to switch it to open vpn all right so that is it and i'm done with it so once you're done with this try connecting your vpn to see whether it can connect successfully without being blocked all right so this brings us to method number two sometimes changing your dns settings can help bypass isp level restrictions so here's how you can do it all right so i made a complete video on how to change your dns settings on your mobile phone that is android and ios so i'll leave the link in the description so you can go and watch that video to see how you can configure the settings in your mobile phone but in this video i'm going to take you through how to enable the setting on your computer okay all right so to change your dns settings on your windows what you need to do is to come to the search and then type control panel i think it is the first one here so click on it so once you're here locate network and sharing center and click on it okay right so this is going to open a new window for us so it is going to contain your internet source whether you are connected to an internet or hotspot from your mobile phone you are going to see the name of your hotspot here so you can see my mobile hotspot right here so um i'm going to click on the link here and then it's going to open another window so this is where we are going to configure the dns settings click on properties and this will pull out another window for us then just uh locate internet protocol version 4 so click on it to select it and then once it's selected click on properties okay so now uh, before you decide to change your dns settings you have to know the dns server that you want to change to so i'm going to leave a link in the description of this video so it's going to contain all the dns servers and their addresses that we need to configure okay so click on the link and then you are going to land on this page so this is the list of popular dns servers and their host names and ip addresses that we need okay all right so what you need to do is just pick the dns server that works best in your area and then you can configure that settings okay all right so with my experience cloudflare gives the fastest internet connection ever right in my location okay right so you can run a test i made a video about that so i'll leave a link in the description to see which dns server that you can select for your location okay so i'm going for cloudflare what we need to do is to pick the primary and the secondary ip addresses and then we'll go to our laptop and then we're going to enter these values okay so note them down the primary ip address is 1.1.1 okay and the secondary one is 1.0.0.1 so let's go over there and then we're going to enter this same value so go back to your control panel all right so once you're here you can see your windows automatically select a dns server for you so what we need to do is to come down here and where it says uh use the following dns server addresses so click on that box all right so the first box entered the primary dns server address so it was 1.1.1.1 and then the alternate or secondary dns server address we are going to enter 1.0.0.1 okay so once you're done with that just click on okay then you can close these windows okay you are done with that 
and then you can restart your connection to see if you can now connect to your vpn successfully okay all right so to apply the same settings on your mobile phone you can check the video in the description below all right so if vpns are entirely blocked then there's an alternative to this okay what you need to do is that there's a particular browser then you can download it and install on your pc or on your mobile phone and then you'll be able to browse securely without being blocked by your authority okay just open your browser and you're going to type uh tor browser okay click on the first link tor project all right so this project is available for windows linux mac os and then android okay right so you can uh, download it for your preferable device and then it's going to work for you so if you are going to download it on your windows just click on the windows project you download it and then you follow the instructions to install it on your pc okay right but i'm going to install the android app on my phone so I'm just going to go to play store and then i'm going to search for tor browser and then uh it is the first one here i already have it on my phone so you can see that i'll just go ahead and i'm going to click on open all right so once you're here everything is simple so you just turn on the first gear uh always connect automatically so you turn it on and then you are going to come down here and just click on connect okay right so you are done it is connected all uh, right so it is a browser for you so you can browse anything at all that you want without being noticed by your isp or your government restrictions okay so let's say maybe i want to visit a website let's say porticom maybe.com so i just click on search and then it's going to open the website for me so rsa any content that you wanted to access and then you were blocked by your isp or your government then you can use a troll browser as an alternative to your vpn okay all right so this brings us to method number four that is by switching vpn protocol so sometimes some vpns uh, protocols are harder for isps to block okay depending on your vpn provider then you can try switching to different protocols to see if you can uh, reconnect successfully without being blocked okay right so i'm going to show you how to do it on provider vpn so once you open it like this you are going to go to settings and you click on it so by the way provider vpn is the best free vpn in the world right now it gives you 10 gig uh every month to use then you can decide to upgrade to the paid one i'm using the premium one okay right so the vpn protocols is just located on the left panel here so i'm just going to click on the protocol and then you can see that it is automatic here so i'm just going to uncheck it that will allow me to select uh the preferred uh protocol that i want all right so mostly wireguard and open vpn protocol is able to hide you from uh blocks right so i'm going to select our uh, open vpn and then i can click on save and then i'm done okay right and then my vpn is going to reconnect me all right so it works the same thing on self shark vpn so once you're on self shark you can click on settings and then click on vpn settings and then down here you have protocols then you can see i already left it on all right so open vpn is selected here if open vpn protocol doesn't work for you try switching to different protocols to see if your connection will go through so i can switch to wireguard and the rest okay right so once you're done just click on reconnect and then you'll be connected successfully all right so this brings us to method number five that is try using shadow shocks okay shadow shocks is a proxy tool designed to bypass censorship across the world okay so outline vpn is a user-friendly app that support this particular uh property okay so to use outline vpn what you need to do is to visit your browser and then we are going to search for outline vpn so click on the first link all right so this will bring us to the outline project so once you're here so you can see 
access to the free and open internet. Outline makes it easy to create a VPN server, giving anyone access to free and open internet. I'm not going to take you through the configuration. You can follow the steps outlined here to set it up on your device. But then if you want me to make a video tutorial on how to set up Outline VPN on your device, then you can leave a comment in the description of this video. Okay. All right. So once you are done with the setup, you will be able to bypass restrictions and blocks. Okay. All right. So this brings us to method number six. That is by trying the mobile hotspot trick. All right. So if your Wi-Fi connection blocks VPNs, then try using your mobile data. Okay. All right. So what you need to do is just turn on your mobile data and then turn on the hotspot. Then you can go to your laptop and then click on the internet gear. And then it should be able to find your hotspot name. This is my hotspot name and I'm already connected to it. So once you're done with that, try connecting your VPN again to see whether the connection goes through. This works because mobile data often uh, has different filtering rules and this might bypass ISP blocks. Okay, so try it and see if it works. All right, so this brings us to the last method, method seven. You can use a VPN with smart DNS or split tunneling to bypass uh, ISP or regional blocks. Okay, so if you are still facing blocks, then smart DNS or split tunneling might help. So smart DNS bypasses ISP restrictions by routing only specific parts of your internet traffic, such as streaming services through the special DNS service. So many VPNs like ExpressVPN, Chefshack includes this feature in their premium. Okay, right. So what you need to do is that you have to just enable smart DNS in your VPN settings, configure it on your router or device by following instructions provided by your VPN provider. Okay. All right, so the different VPN providers provide different steps to enable this feature, okay? So let me know which VPN you are using and if I can assist you uh, turning this feature on on your device, okay? So when you are done configuring smart DNS on your device, it helps reduce the chances of detection and ensures that you have smoother connectivity, okay? Right, so how much information is needed for you to configure these settings? So you can find help by uh, typing smart DNS on your browser. And it's going to bring you here. Just click on the first link. Okay. All right. So you can see that unlock your internet fast, reliable browsing and streaming with smart DNS proxy 100% private that is anonymous okay let me use your service providers and then sni detection will not be able to identify and block you okay all right so i'll leave the link in the description so you can come here and then find much information about how to get smart dns and configure it on your devices okay right all right so i hope one of these solutions work for you so remember online privacy is important so staying informed is key to overcoming challenges like this so let me know in the comments which methods helped you or if you have other tricks to share then you can do that to help others all right but remember this video is for educational purposes so remember to use this video responsibly that is to try to stay safe online and without negative purposes so don't forget to like subscribe and share this video for more tech tips and stay safe and then connected and hope to see you next time again and then goodbye